one. This is Mary over here at Images on the Page. In honor of Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, um, which is the month of May, there's a readathon going on for the entire month called the Asian Readathon. Now, it is a fairly low key readathon. Um, there are only five challenges. There's also five hosts, all of who I will link down below and link their kind of announcement videos. I will quickly go over the five challenges and then I'll tell you the books that I'm planning to read for the readathon. So the first challenge is read any book by an Asian author. The second book is read a graphic novel written about or featuring an Asian character or written by an Asian author. This can include graphic novels, mangas, anything like that. Challenge three is read a book about an intersectional Asian identity or written by an intersectional Asian identity. So Asian in disabled, Asian in queer, anything like that. Challenge four is read any book by an Asian author that was a that was written in their native language. So trans translated or graphic novels count as well. Slash mangas. And the fifth challenge is read the group read, which is A Thousand Beginnings and Endings by Ellen O. And there will be a live show for that on Saturday, May 25th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Reading with Cindy's channel. And I will link that. I will post that in my description box as well. I did only plan three books for this readathon just because I have started doing TBRs again and I had already planned quite a few books for this month before I found out about this, but I really wanted to do this. So the first book I chose is The Tiger's Daughter. Now this has been on my TBR since sometime last year when it became a really big favorite on booktube. I honestly still don't know much about this, which I'm really okay with. Um, I know that it is has an Asian main character and there is a queer romance in it, so that falls under the intersectional. And I believe, from what I read, it is um, Japanese slash Mongolian inspired. So that is really interesting. The next book I hope to get to is Timekeeper by Tara Sim. This is a really hard cover to show off. It's really pretty though, if you could see it's just like a gigantic clock. Um, this one is about, like it's kind of a steampunk world and where clocks actually affect how time runs in their world and so when clocks are broken or damaged you need someone to fix them and it follows this mechanic Danny who does that and then for some reason all these clocks start breaking or it's like the world is gonna end or whatever and he has to figure out why I do know that this also has a queer romance in it and I so that also falls under intersectional which unsurprisingly is one I will be filling out a lot of and I guess, um, according to the list, document list that they have posted about books that fall under certain categories, um, the main character or one of the characters is also biracial. And then this is, follows under white slash South Asian identity. Now the last book I planned um, is actually not the group read, although I might be changing that out for my last book if that doesn't come through for my library. The book that I'm hoping will is called I Hear the Sunspot. It is a graphic novel that sounds really interesting. It is about this boy who grows up with a um, hearing disability, he finds it really hard to connect to the world, and he just kind of closes himself off until he meets this one particular classmate. And it just sounds like a really adorable book. I know this falls under, I think it follows under all four categories, so that's really nice because those only fall under one, the first two I mentioned, only fall under one. This falls under intersectional because, well, the main character has a hearing disability and it is um, an LGBTQ book. It was originally written in Japanese. What is... Oh, and it's a manga. I can't believe I forgot that. So that is the four that it follows. If I have time or if that one doesn't come in time, I will be trying to get the group read from the library, but we will see. Um, but these are just ones that sounded really interesting. I hope you guys are thinking of joining. I believe, I mean, I think it's a great idea to do readathons in the month that is celebrating a certain culture or identity. 
and I hope we can do more of these. And until the next video, ta-ta for now.